Hello everyone, how are you all doing? In this video, we are going to talk about the iOS 15 Beta 6. Well, Apple released the iOS 15 Beta 6 today and in this video, I'm going to talk about that. Let's get right into this video. My name is Jay and you are watching Tech Hyped. If you are new here, consider hitting that subscribe button and like button for more videos related to iOS. I do it pretty much daily. So now that you have done that, let's get right into today's video. All right. So Apple released the iOS 15 beta 6 today and it came around 3.4 GB on my iPhone 12. And this update actually was big in my opinion. And it does matter because like beta 6, you know, now they have shifted to one week cycle and uh, i'm pretty sure they will stick to one week cycle and uh, next week we will see the beta 7 fingers crossed talking about the changes and the new features changes talking about the changes apple did change and tweaked some things in the operating system well talking about the features Features, well, we have not really discovered any major features right now, but some minor ones are here. AirPods Pro, while connecting my AirPods Pro on the Beta 6, I did notice that my AirPods Pro did connect it properly this time because like earlier, it was not connecting properly. You can say it's more, more of a bug fix, but at the same time, it's, it's added here, right? So this is something new in the Beta 6. Then talking about the Twitter bug, Twitter bug is still not fixed, so don't expect it to be fixed until the RC rolls out and uh, maybe in september right in the, by the end of september you can expect that twitter bug to get fixed because i know a lot of you guys do talk about that on over on twitter and that thing is not fixed till now well hidden features and changes have not been discovered by me and by some of my friends they are trying to do it and uh, i will update you guys as soon as i will get to know about them over on my twitter at the rate tech hyped the performance the performance seems to be pretty much the same it is not really uh, better i would say or worse compared to the beta 5 but yes the performance is pretty much on par with the previous beta versions yes compared to the beta 4 if you are coming from which i did notice a major lagging and some issues on that on my iphone 10r and 11 this update did actually fix that and now you guys won't really have any issues if you will update to this firmware and as always if you are considering updating to this firmware from an official version you need to take a backup and be sure to uh, like uh, iCloud backup and uh, take a backup on your computer if you do have important stuff, which I would not really recommend installing on your primary device. If you do have an iPhone laying around, an iPad laying around, what you can do is just install it on that iPad slash iPhone because it is much better. You know, you don't ha you have less risk to uh, your data getting lost, right? So I would recommend you guys to install install it on your secondary device but anyways this update seems to be really good it has fixed a lot of bugs and uh, more new features i will be talking about them in my upcoming videos as always be sure to click that subscribe button for more ios related videos as i do come up with them quite a few times in a week <laughs> Peace out, I will meet you all in the very next episode. And by the way, wallpapers, yes, new wallpapers on iOS, as I said, Apple will add new wallpapers in iOS 15 beta, which I th I still think they will, but till now they have not really added any new wallpapers to their collection.